Welcome to the art project. If you don't like insects, particularly bees, this might be a good time to step away from the screen. Maybe go watch some um, Watch Mojo top tens or something. But right now, I'm going to draw this bee that I found uh, dead in the window of um, my studio. Uh, I have a macro lens on my phone, and I got some nice up-close shots of it. It's pretty creepy, um, but pretty amazing. Uh, all the detail. Uh, fascinating to look at. Um, a few weeks ago, I did a, um assignment with my class that I found on the internet called Repetition uh, with Variation. Um, or was it variation with repetition? Uh, one of those. Anyway, uh, you can watch that video that I did, um, for that project. And in that one, I used skulls, um, that I drew with charcoal and chalk on brown paper. For this one, I took some close up shots of this, uh, B and then, uh, altered them a little bit on my computer, cropped them, um, adjusted the color and everything, and then um, began to work. So what I did, uh, basically the first time around, and, and, and the way I, I like to do the composition for this assignment is in squares. And so I think for the skulls I did um, 12 squares, um, rows of three columns of four and then um, for this one I decided to go with kind of a nine square type uh, composition so I began by drawing all this amazing stuff in my uh, sketchbook uh, to the best of my ability um, <clears throat> after I took the photos I uh, measured off nine squares in my sketchbook gave it a little bit of a border and then began drawing it now I did these drawings uh, starting out pretty rough I, I wasn't really trying to um, do anything more than really kind of familiarize myself with the um, bumblebee or with the uh, carpenter bee uh, and eventually I started going back and adding a little bit more uh, with my pencil and I really wanted to do it in my sketchbook with um, ink, but I kind of messed up the the pencil, and I decided just to go ahead and jump into ink <clears throat> on the larger size. So anyway, uh, I got out the Bristol board, Bristol, not Bristol board, but Bristol paper. It's got a nice smooth surface. It's really good for ink. Um, this assignment is really good for... Uh, Practice. Uh, I, I like to do assignments with my classes that um, kind of require them to draw one thing over and over and over again, and that way they get a lot of practice. Um, but it's also just really nice to see uh, different uh, views of the same object. And so um, I measured it all off. Uh, when it comes to measuring it, it depends on the size of your paper. Uh, I wanted it to have uh, nine squares, so I made um, a little two centimeter border around the paper, and uh, each um, square is eight by eight centimeters. <clears throat> I took some painter's tape and taped off each square as I did it. I saved a lot of tape by using the same pieces over and over again. Um, aside from the border, uh, which I didn't take off, I would put down tape, do a picture, take it off, move it to another spot. I also worked around the paper, not like straight across in rows, but like did the top left corner and then did the bottom right corner and then the um, top uh, middle left. Um, and so I'm jumping around so that I didn't get my hand in the ink or have to put tape on top of wet ink. Uh, just kind of hopped around the uh, paper a little bit. This took me uh, probably four hours to complete from beginning to end, including the sketches. Uh, so it'll probably take 
I don't know, six, seven hours for uh, a class uh, to do. I really have in my mind the idea of doing this in oil paint and in color. So uh, you might say that this uh, ink drawing that I'm doing now is really just sort of a um, practice, uh, sort of a rough draft. So um, look for part two of this video where I hope to do uh, all of these bees in oil paint. Um, we'll see how that turns out. Um, I learned a lot about ink along the way too. I've been working with ink for a while and, and, and a lot, but um, there are some things that I, I found here that were pretty neat, like, for example, putting down the water first and letting it, uh, letting the darker stuff flow into it to get special effects, uh, taping it off. I've never um, taped off ink, I don't think, before. I've never masked paper while using ink. I also found that the this blue paper, painter's tape peels off a Bristol board really easily and it doesn't tear it like it does drawing paper sometimes. Um, I also used some brushes that I bought from Wish, the uh, Wish app, and they turned out to be really good, the brushes that I used. So anyway, there it is. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, try it out. And um, now it's your turn. Go make some art.